day grade tens. In the last lesson we learned about graphs of motion. And in this lesson we're just going to look at two very brief examples where we see how the graphs of motion can be used in practice. The first graph that we're going to be looking at is a distance versus time graph. Okay, you need to know all about distance time graphs and speed time graphs. The distance time graphs is slightly easier, so I'm just going to draw one here for you to have a look at and consider. So if you look at this first section here, you can see it starts at a distance of 0 and goes up to 10 in 20 seconds. Because it's a straight line, it means it's got a steady speed. So a steady speed from 0 to 10 meters. The second section is a horizontal line. All horizontal lines will mean that it stays at the same distance. So here it's staying at 10 meters, so it's stationary. And then this next section here, you'll see the line is steeper, much, much steeper than the first line. So it means it's a much steeper, it's much faster speed. And this last one, the diagonal line backwards, means that it's going at a steady speed still, because it's a straight line, but it goes back to zero, so it returns back to its original position. So here's a typical kind of question you might get. What is the speed during the first 20 seconds? Well, it's going from 0 to 10 in 20 seconds, so it's 10 meters in 20 seconds, so the answer is 0.5 meters per second. Second question here, how far is the object from the start after 60 seconds? You can look up the graph here. 60 seconds, it is a distance of 40 meters away. The third question, what's the speed during the last 40 seconds? Make sure that you're taking the change in distance, so it's going from 60 to 100 in a time of 40 seconds. So it's 40 meters in 40 seconds, so the answer is 1 meter per second. And the final question there, when was object traveling the fastest? You're looking for the steepest line. The steepest line is between 40 and 60. Seen how we can use a distance versus time graph. Let's look at a velocity versus time graph. Okay, here's a second type of graph, and uh, I've drawn it so it looks the same shape, but it actually means something completely different. So the first section here, it's a steep, li it's a steep line going up from 0 to 40. Because we're looking at velocity, it means it's changing velocity, it's getting faster. And the special word for that means accelerating. So it's accelerating by 0 to 40 in 10 seconds. Um, a, a horizontal line here, on the other graph, it meant stationary, but it now means it's going at a steady velocity of 40. So during this period here, it's traveling at a steady speed of 40 meters per second. You can see the line goes up again here. This means that it's accelerating again until it gets to a maximum speed here of 60 meters per second. And then the line going all the way back down to zero means that it's decelerating. The opposite to accelerating means slowing down until it becomes to rest after 50 seconds. Now, if you're doing the higher tier, you may be asked how far this car has traveled during its journey. And what you must remember is it's the area under the graph. So you can work out the area of that triangle, add it to the area of this rectangle, add it to the area of that rectangle, Here's an exam question you could get on graphs. Well, how fast was the object going after 10 seconds? Go up from 10, you can see it will be going 40 meters per second. What is the acceleration from 20 to 30? Well, the change in speed during that time is 20 meters per second in a time of 10 seconds, so it would be 2 meters per second squared. What is the acceleration from 30 to 50? Change of speed goes from 60 to 0, so it's 60 meters per second change in a time of 20. So 6 divided by 20 would be 3 meters per second squared, and it might be a minus sign to show it's a deceleration. How far did the object travel altogether? You'd have to do it by working out the area under the graph. That would only appear on a higher paper. Now that we've seen these in practice, grade 10, you need to go and look at the assessments online and make sure that you can do the same things that this gentleman has done and more. Thank you very much. Have a good day.